hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well in this video we are going big huge this is the biggest jesmonite pour i have ever done this mold is a huge tray from goldline artistry i'll link the video here if you did not see that unboxing and it is the most beautiful jesmonite creation i've ever done fingers crossed you love it Now, I did not know exactly how much this mold would take in Jesmonite. There was no way for me to weigh it. I don't have scales that big. So I'm using my biggest mixing bowl. And I already know my little trinket trays take 100 grams each. And my brain was telling me to multiply it by five. I feel like this might be enough. If not, I can just pour a back layer. So here I am pouring out 500 grams of Jesmonite AC100 liquid. And it, yeah, it was a lot. I then multiplied that by 2.5 which gave me 1,250 grams powder. I really didn't know if this was going to be enough, but it's a lot, guys. And I thought, well, come on, if this is not enough, then at least I know it's going to do the majority of the work and then I can fill up the back of the tray. So I poured half the powder in, I gave it a really solid stir, and then I poured the other half of the powder in. I'm very conscious we don't have a long work time, especially in big, big quantities like this. I want to go marble, but I do want my base to be white. So I am adding in some jesmonite white pigment to give me that white, white, kind of appearance and yeah jesmonite in its natural state is almost like a cream like a calico color so yeah that is definitely something to think about if you want your marble to have a crisp white background and here you see me going for it honestly it was starting to hurt my arm at one point I did feel like it could be whiter so I added a bit more pigment now you are allowed up to two percent allocated pigment I didn't measure, I kind of just eyeballed it and I was confident that I didn't go over that. Now I want a muddy marble, I don't just want a stark white and black. So I'm actually pouring some of that Jesmonite AC100 mixture into a cup. And into this cup I have put the tiniest drop of black takes a while to come through but you'll start to see it coming through here one tiny drop of black goes a long way so in this separate cup I have created a separate gray muddy marble I'm then going to pour that back into my bowl so it is very similar to a muddy pour but I just want some kind of warmth I want my marble to have a warm kind of blend hoping this is making sense i just give it a little stir with my lollipop stick don't stir too much you will lose the marble then i want my black lines so i'm going in with a tiny little scrape of black on a lollipop stick swishing it in swirling it around and we are done i have placed the mold down on the bag that it came in because it's plastic and i know it's going to be cleaned easily and here we go I am pouring, I am excited, and I made enough. I didn't just make enough, okay? Where is Claire? Who is she? What have I done with her? I didn't just make enough. I made bang on, spot on enough. I didn't even have to sand the edges down. Like, I don't even know what happened this day. My brain, sometimes when you work with Jesmonite, you kind of get a feel for how much a mold will take. I'm better at gauging flat molds than I am, you know, like candles or vases and things like that. But yeah, this was bang on. I just could not believe it. So it is now time to shake, shake, shake. A lot of the detail in this mold, they are channels, they are grooves, and I do not want air bubbles. And at this point, because it's such a marbly effect, I didn't want to get down with a silicon tool to dislodge any. I didn't want to disturb the pattern that had formed underneath. So this is real time. This is me 
jiggling it around, shaking it, shimmying it, and just having it on that plastic sheet allowed me to do this. Otherwise, it would have completely stuck to my surface. You would not be able to move it afterwards. So here you see me going for it. Do not be afraid to tap. After about three minutes, I went in with my lollipop stick and I just created this pattern on the back, just, you know, you know just to make the back as pretty as the front. This is 30 minutes later. It is quite hot at this point, but I'm also aware I don't want it to sweat in the mold. It's a chunky beast. It is gorgeous. When I turned it over, I am telling you, oh my goodness. I let out quite a, oh wow, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I already knew at this point, I loved it loved it sometimes marble is unpredictable but how i added the gray you see the gray has just given it this beautiful wispy warmth and yeah you can still see those black lines oh my goodness i think well i hope you'll all agree this is the best marbling <laughs> the best marbling I have ever done which is great for me because this is also the biggest pour I've ever done and I didn't want to mess it up there's just a few little overspill wispy bits at the edge but I don't need to sand there's no lip because I measured exactly I do not know how but I did and yeah I wish I could be like that all the time here is a close-up I just love it the lines, the channels, the detail in this mold. I think this is going to make the most incredible statement home decor piece. So yeah, I can't see me making loads of these for the sheer amount of jesmonite it takes. So if you are interested in this, get to me immediately. I won't be making loads. Now, I decided it needs a wow factor I need to bring this up into modern day decor and the only way to do that is with gold pen let's do it when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright with the pen I want to bring these tea light sections to life and give them some serious bling so I decided to use the acrylic sealer for AC100 acts as a glue it's a really great glue and I've just poured some into these cavities using a paintbrush and I'm gently putting the gold leaf inside them and just gently tapping it down with my fingers and then I do end up using a really soft bristled paintbrush to dab them in to make sure that they are fully coating those tea light areas and you can see here I went a little bit too rough and I pulled some away so what I did after this I went back in with my paintbrush a second layer of that acrylic sealer did the job and I got them fully coated and I just think they bring this to life the extra element of that gold foil in those tea light sections 
bounces off the gold pen and here it is i am obsessed i am in love i think it's the most beautiful jesmonite creation i have ever done not to mention the biggest let me know your thoughts this mold of course is from gold line artistry it was sent to me and this is a wow mold for me without doubt the most beautiful mold yeah i love it i've put the candles in it looks stunning i've added my plant pot on the side just to give you an idea of how i'm going to use it if it doesn't sell and yeah let me know your thoughts thank you so much if you have stayed this long i am gonna play some music so if we are currently on live chat we have a little bit longer to talk but i am loving this my favorite project of 2022 love it thank you all so much if you would like to subscribe i would really appreciate it i must say this at the beginning of the video really i always leave it to the end and a lot of people do not stay to the end but i hope you have and i appreciate you all i'll see you in the next video bye